Okay, so I'm here on uh, Alcudia Beach in the north of Mallorca and we're going to talk to you about subfly systems and uh, how they work with your paddle boards, be they inflatable paddle boards or hard paddle boards. This gets you on the water windsurfing in a manner that's very easy and very good fun. So this is a typical day. We've been paddle boarding already. You can see the wind's beginning to come up. It's about 10 o'clock. And at this point, for the next hour or two, the wind will continue to rise and either it's time to put your paddleboard away or to do something a bit different. And that's what we're showing you today. What we've got here is our paddleboard with a couple of different systems depending on what your ability is and what it is you want to do. So we're at the beach. We've just had a lovely paddle surf. Uh, we arrived uh, an hour and a half ago now. The wind's coming up and we want to keep playing on the water, but it's uncomfortable and we want something different to do. This is where the subfly inflatable sail comes in. The entire sail fits in here. This is with the mast, the boom, the adapter, everything you need to get going. You can keep it in the back of the car for a, a subsail emergency, or you can put it inside your inflatable paddleboard bag. It really takes up very little room at all. When you take it out, then you have in this case, the Subfly Daddy Sail, which is the 4.2 meters. The inflation valve is the same as for your inflatable paddleboard. You use your paddleboard pump to inflate it up to 5 psi, and you're ready to go. So we've pumped up the sail. That's at 5 psi, which is between a half and a third of what you pump the paddleboard up. The volume of the sail is much smaller than your paddleboard, so you really are talking a couple of minutes to pump up this sail. Um, we've got the strap mounted on the board and now we just clip it in and you're ready to go. So the first thing you have to practice on any sort of windsurfing is pulling up the cell, which is actually the hardest part of windsurfing. Um, I know many windsurfers, including myself, that much prefer never to pull up the sail. But here we go, on the beach you pull it up, it's extremely light. Um, you actually pull it up from the kneeling position on the board um, and you're ready to go, your first lesson on the beach. Uh, it couldn't be easier. No strength required. There's about five kilometers of wind at the moment, um, which is plenty to have your first go for you or your children using the sail. If you let it go, it's so light that it won't hurt anyone. But the subfly sail, in all of its sizes, is also adaptable to go onto a normal windsurf board. In that instance, what you would do is you wouldn't have the strap in here on the foot base adapter, um, but you can put this onto a normal base foot like that. The whole kit comes with the subfly sail, and that will go into your standard windsurf board. That means you can take your little ones and teach them to sail with a perfectly safe, easy to manipulate sail on the kit that you already own. So if we consider this the first step, the baby of learning to windsurf and to play in a safe and fun fashion, we might move to the second step. We can put the inflatable sail on an inflatable board or even a non-inflatable board using this foot system. But if we already have some windsurf sails, or if we want to graduate from this to a teen sail or a small solid sail, we can't do that on this board. It doesn't have the mounting for the mast to go in. But at Subflight, we have the solution for that as well. And I'm going to show you that over here. So this is our Subfly starter kit. Like the Subfly inflatable sail, it's strapped to the board. However, it's double strapping with stainless steel clamps. It's a lot more rigid. It's there to support um, a real mast and sail, and it goes on any size board at all. Um, here we've got a standard mast, standard fitting, and it goes on and off like that. Now, for your starter sails, for your big sails, provided you're not planing, this is a great solution. Once you get to the point, and if maybe you already are at that point of the windsurfer where you're plating, um, which comes quite quickly, 
there is a problem with using a strapping system on the board. And the problem is this. The straps underneath provide water resistance, which doesn't seem very much, but actually as you go along, they start to flip. And whether you use one big strap, two small straps, or any form to counter this issue, you can't get round that much water resistance. That doesn't seem very long, very wide. But when you add the width, the length of a double strapping, you end up having the surface area of a plank of wood. And you can imagine dragging that wood through the water as you try and maintain yourself on the plane. In fact, what happens on a inflatable board is you take off fantastically, um, and then as soon as you dip the front or you start to skim, it air breaks and you stop dead and you come right off. It's so rapid. Um, and we worked for a few years on a, on a way to get round this in order to really open up inflatable paddleboard windsurfing for people who really want to fly. So this is what we call our pro rig system. This is for people that are actually trying to get up on the plane on an inflatable paddleboard or a non-inflatable paddleboard. Why would you do that? Why would you want to do that? Well, modern inflatable paddle boards um, are very rigid. They're pumped up to 15 psi, and they're light, they're fast, they're very convenient to take to the beach. You're talking about the backpack situation. Um, in our pro rig, we've removed the straps from the underside of the board completely. The straps are tensioned on with these mast clamps. That means that the understrap, there's no understrap to flip up, which means you really get on the plane very easily. Because of the lightness of the board, you accelerate on the plane as if it were a big formula. The front of the clamps is all profiled, so the element that is in the water is um, providing minimal resistance. Um, just have a look at some of the clips of us using this in light winds with small sails. So the pro rig clamps that we make come in a variety of sizes. Um, inflatable paddleboards and paddleboards each have their own profile. The majority of them are 12, uh, 12 centimetres. The harder ones are 10 centimetres and they go up to 15 or 16 centimetres. So we have to fit them exactly to your board. But we ship this with the additional straps so that you can use the intermediate level which allows you to use the base plate on any board that you have. What you have is one board which is your optimised size. One of the differences between using an inflatable panel board and using a full windsurf rig is that there are no straps on the board. This is not a problem. The way that you end up standing and using these boards negates the use for the foot straps. The boards are soft, they're all incredibly grippy, they're very forgiving on your feet and you can fly on these a lot faster than you would want to be using um, a normal windsurf board when you're talking of sail size. We normally overpower the sails by two sizes, so if you were normally using a 6, you might end up with a 7.5 or 8, um, and you'd still be absolutely fine simply standing on the board. So if you have a junior sail or one of the lightweight children's sails on a normal hard mast, um, with a child up to about 45 kilos. You don't need to have the stabiliser straps because the boards are so buoyant and the children are so light that you can sail upwind quite easily. You get to a position where you are an intermediate sailor with a heavy sail and you might be 60 to 80 to 100 kilos. Then you need to be using um, the stabilisers, the drift fins. Um, once you get to the point that you're going to be planing using the pro rig, Paddleboards with their surf fins behave perfectly well for going upwind, for jiving, just about anything you can think of. 